Hello friends, my name is Uglyfish, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. And with it finally being a spooky season in real life and in Animal Crossing New Horizons, I thought it was time to give Leningrad a makeover, and what better theme than Halloween? So to do that I've been moving a few buildings around and because I'm the least patient person in the world I was doing a fair bit of time travelling. So I've had a few visitors to the campsite, none of them have been particularly exciting but I have a new one today, I've already popped in and I know who it is. But I'll give you a little chance to guess. It's Zell. If any of you watching have watched my other Animal Crossing villager hunting videos, you'll know that Zell has always been the number one goal. I've wanted him on an island for absolutely years. And here he is, just bold as brass, standing in my campsite as if I haven't spent £12 of my real hard earned money trying to find him. So I think it all comes down to a little game of chance now. He'll offer me a few card games. Is what we're going to do. Four cards, each one is a different suit. I think I have to guess which suit he's drawn, so if I get it right, I get a gift. That looked like a diamond, so I'm going to go for diamond. Second option. Oh, it's going to be wrong, isn't it? Heart, fair enough. I don't really know what happens if I get it wrong. I'm guessing I can keep playing. This, it's Animal Crossing, it's not like Dark Souls. I reckon if I just keep spamming this A button at some point, Zell will offer me the game again. So I think I've got to win whatever piece of clothing he offers me, and then if I keep talking to him again, he will pretty much invite himself to come and live into Leningrad. That's where the details get fuzzy for me, and I probably should have googled this before I engaged in conversation with him. I don't know if he picks who should move out, or if I choose who should move out. I'm I'm going to go with diamond again. It was a heart again. What are the chances of two hearts in a row? Maybe it's always going to be a heart. I'll keep talking to him. I'll pick heart again. Now, in terms of who I want him to get rid of, if I get to pick, Tabby the Nightmare Cat will finally be leaving Leningrad. I have been waiting for her to offer to leave for so long, and she hasn't done it. If he picks... I'm really not sure. I think I might be willing to let Sprocket, Melba, or obviously Tabby leave, but I might change my mind at crunch time. It might just be Tabby. Right, this time I'm going to go for Heart, because it's been Heart the other two times. It's Oh, I knew it. As soon as I pressed Heart, I knew it was going to be a diamond. I hate myself. Is this Gambler's Fallacy? Is this something like Gambler's Fallacy? I'm so I'm so angry with myself. Yeah, live here. Don't bring out your cards again. Oh, all right. Or just decline, Zell. Whatever. No, I'm not lucky. This has all been cut very short in the video. It's been about seven minutes of failure so far. Don't bring your cards out. Don't bring your cards out. Put the cards away. Yugi Moto, stop it. Don't even shuffle them. Don't bother. I, d I don't know. I'm not bothered. Honestly, I'm so torn. Heart. It's a heart. I hate this game. And at this point, I hate Zell. The audio in this is going to be so bad because I'm just yelling all the time. You should live here. It's definitely the right move. You've got a deck of cards, Zell. I've seen you whip it out about 16 times so far. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Um, oh, it, it's red. It's going to be red. It's always been red. Way! Right on the money. Get to move here. Okay, so he's going to talk to resident services. I don't know what's going to be said. I know that it's full. That's fine. Oh no. Who's he going to get rid of? <sighs> what? I'm so torn. I can live without Sprocket and then that would mean Tabby would still leave and I can get Julia the Peacock or one of the wolves or maybe even Bo. 
and get all the me and Sprocket have had a, a wonderful time together but maybe it is time for Sprocket to move on Fuchsia's gone I, okay yeah as long as you're telling him he's got to leave and I've got not got to look at his sad little crying robot face and Sprocket has had the little who am I trying to convince her yeah I don't know if I can live with this decision. And is it too late? Should I just turn the game off? Has it auto-saved already? Does that mean I shouldn't have left the tent? Oh, look at his house. I can't do it. Memories. I can't say goodbye to Sprocket. But Sprocket Vazelle? Okay, I'm going to turn the game off and hope and pray that it hasn't auto-saved when I left the tent. Right, let's try again. In we go. I am terrified. Right, I need him to say something useful. That's incredibly non-committal. You could be saying that for any reason, Zell. I need to see this deck of cards again. Okay, he's not moving yet. You should live here. Okay. Oh, Sprocket, I will never betray you again. We're going to be best friends for life. You should live here. He seems to remember that he said no to me before. Does that mean he remembers all the times I've lost as well? I don't want Zell to think I'm a loser. Right, the card in my hand... Oh, I'm back to picking full. Let's go with heart. Spade. Well, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. Wonder how many times I'll have to do it this time. I've cut a few out on whatever footage you'll be watching, but it, it was definitely about 16. Oh, look, he's sick of me failing. He didn't even ask me to play a stupid card game then. I'm feeling very good about this time. This looks on my side. Yes, negotiate with Tabby. Tabby. No. Turn the game off now before it auto saves. I'm not getting rid of Vivian because she looks like my old dog who I miss very much. So, let's try again. Tabby, this could take a really long time, couldn't it? I know that's such a stupid, obvious thing to say. But if you consider maybe only one in five conversations with him leads to him offering to move here, and then I lose about 90% of those card games. Alright, say no, whatever, Zell. Straight back into trying to get him to live with me. You should live here. I am still speaking to you, even though you turn me down many times, Zell, because if you're willing to keep negotiating with a loser like me, I think you really want to live here, to be honest. Should I go with Spade? I'll stick with Heart. And it was Spade again. I honestly don't even know why I do this to myself. Of course I was going to be wrong. I'm always going to be wrong. Right, you should live here. And this time, I think I'm going to go with... Uh... Oh, okay. Another time where he felt so sorry for me, I didn't need to pick the stupid card game because I was really stumped on what I was going to pick, to be honest. So we've had Sprocket, we've had Vivian. Tabby. Yes, Tabby. No! No. Restart the game. Jesus, this is like deja vu. I think I'd rather be... I was going to say I think I'd rather be flying to different islands trying to find them. But actually that's a very tedious process. And just running from my house to the tent is a lot quicker. Right, I'm, I'm feeling good. This is going to be the time. 
this is going to be tabby time. I'm still not sure at which point the game auto saves, but seeing as I stopped before I made a decision last time, he won't have moved in, will he? Unless it's... No, he won't have moved in because he's going to move in now. Oh, do we have to make it more interesting, Zell? I think it's more interesting when you just live here. Or at least just give me the colours. Black or red? Um, uh, it's been spayed last time, so black. I never want to see a diamond again. Oh, yeah, great, great memory. Super fun game. <laughs> also, he needs to be more consistent about, unless he's got a million beds, he needs to pick um, what his thread count is. I'm getting so fed up with this. <laughs> no room. How would such a thing happen? Yes. No. We've had Sprocket twice and Vivian twice. Can it only be them two? I wanted to say surely not, but the last few times I've time travelled I haven't spoken to any villagers and it has been Sprocket who's had the bubble over his head, which normally means that he wants to leave. So what if it can only be those two? If it is between those two, it's going to have to be Sprocket because I can't say goodbye to Vivian. Sprocket, I will never betray you again. But that would mean this last hour of failure is going to be for nothing. Shuffle the cards. It's a spade. I don't even know anymore. Go for spade. It's going to be a diamond. A club. Okay. I feel less angry about that one though because that's the first time I've ever seen a club. I never would have guessed it. Right, we're trying again. This, this is going to be it. I feel it. I feel lucky. It's... Oh god. It's red. Stick with red. You should have stuck with the diamond the whole way through. It was a diamond. It was red. It's a sign. He's going to say tabby. Get over to resident services. Come back and say that you want to get rid of tabby. No cats on this island. Especially ones that really need some kind of facial reconstruction. Yes! Yes, she would be happy to work something out. I would be happy to work something out. And if you can't come to any kind of decision, I will just stick her on a raft. Oh, I've got Zell. I've finally got Zell. That's that's it. I don't want to get rid of Sprocket. I don't want to get rid of Melbear. Tabby is gone. I can't believe it. After so many hours of villager hunting and spending actual money and flying with that bloody dodo plane, I've got Zell. Zell is here. I do a little bit of time travelling. Oh, I'll move some buildings first. I'm going to do some time travelling and let's go and say hello to Zell. Let's see what his house is like. You have any friend? It's Zell. Yes, this will be the loveliest day, Isabel. Thank you for your joy. What a fantastic day. Uh, I probably should check my post, otherwise that noise is going to annoy me. There's a letter from Vivian saying thank you for not getting rid of her off this tropical paradise island. His house is going to be very near because Tabby lived close to me. I'll just jump over by the museum. I'll get everything all empty and a mess. I'm sorry that this is the Leningrad you're moving into. Is that not Tabby's house? That looks exactly like Tabby's house. But it is Zell. Isabel said so. Wow, I really like his wall. His carpet looks like office tiles, but look at that wallpaper. And it is Zell, 100% Zell's moved in. But why is he living in Tabby's house? I'm really happy though because I didn't look at Zell's house and this is still got kind of dark spooky vibes but I was terrified for a second then right so I've just googled and other than the roof colour it is almost identical to Tabby's house 
which I'm really happy about to be honest because I liked Tabby's house. I just really hated Tabby. So friends, while Zell sets up his new house and I just drop flowers on the floor, th this is it. Leningrad Villager Wise is finished. I'm so, so happy about this. I've been waiting for Zell for so long. It does mean though that I have 380 Nook Mile tickets going spare. So if anyone needs some Nook Mile tickets, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to pop over to your village and drop some off to you. Leningrad is going to be getting a huge makeover, which hopefully I'll be able to share with you, maybe within the week, depending on how much time travelling I do. But until then, I'm off to play with Zell. Bye!